So we're here at the abandoned interchange on Interstate 90. We're going under Interstate 90 right now, and this is the route that three 1.6 million pound megaloads want to take to uh, access the uh, wrong direction lanes on Interstate 90. They can't go over Veterans Memorial Bridge because it's too high and it's too long, and these loads just weigh too much. So. They want to dig out under this uh, blocked from traffic uh, access area. Uh, this is where once they tried to build an interchange and uh, the earth gave out under some earth movers and, uh, and they abandoned the project. The Federal Highway Administration told the Idaho Transportation Department, sorry, not interested. And uh, also uh, in recompense, they had to develop some uh, some public areas and help restore kokanee salmon uh, in Lake Coeur d'Alene nearby. So, quite a bit, yeah. So, this is all just, it looks like cut slope um, just to the side of the road here that at one point has been dug out. It looks sort of moist and sort of unstable here in uh, mid March almost. This whole area is gravel, and essentially what they want to do is just build a temporary gravel ramp, more or less where this little path is here, widen it out, uh, and you know, it looks like quite potentially uh, there's a little bit of drainage issue. We got somewhat of a little culvert there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, and then actually up here there's a wetland too. Well, not maybe not a wetland. What it is is a, sort of a, a drainage pond. But yeah, this is the path they want to build. They want to expand out and just do it with gravel too, not with anything really uh, solid. And uh, build a ramp going the wrong way, accessing the interstate. So right now we're walking east and, uh, and it would essentially these mega loads be going on to uh, on to the west lanes of uh, Interstate 90. So over here is that drainage pond. Uh, you can see there's a big old culvert under this road up above is actually a dead end once you get up on the top of the hill. But uh, there's quite a bit of water in this thing. It's uh, you know late winter with runoff, early spring. There's been a lot of rain. Quite a bit of water there, and you know the the whole surface of the land is essentially concave. So it's going to pick up whatever kind of moisture falls in this area, uh, and it's pretty extensive. I don't know how big you would call that, but it's a good sized little pond. And uh, so all these barriers here, they would have to remove. Uh, and both the westbound and the eastbound lanes just to be able to access the interstate. And of course they'd have to shut down traffic for a little ways while these things are changing lanes. And uh, probably this on-ramp would end right around here. Oh, the sound of running water. Where is that coming from? It sounds like down in those rocks. There's some kind of water drainage going on here. That's enough to uh, yield the sound of running water. Let's see what's down in there. Oh, big troubles there. Oh, it's a big old grate. So there's water coming from somewhere. Going down pretty rapidly into that grate. I don't know if you can hear it above all the five o'clock p.m. traffic. I'll go down in there a little further. Yeah, big time water from running from somewhere, running underneath. Oh look, it's draining out of the wetland or the pond into this grate, and then I don't know where it goes after this grate. But, yeah, so there you have it. Water runoff from the pond.
but anyway. So yeah, it's pretty pretty concave slope here. A few rocks laying around that might have rolled down from the hill. Hard to say. Uh, and then of course there's a big old road cut up on that road above the pond, which the pond is down in there. Uh, but that road up there, it actually, it ends um, right about at the top of that hill there. So there you have it. And this is where they want to haul 1.6 million pound megaloads on this tiny little path to access Interstate 90. Right, yeah, there's a lot of barriers that would be in the way. So all those trees on the other side there are uh, Higgins Point. And it's a great natural area. You can see a path going up to it where uh, people like to go and recreate quite a bit. So I guess that covers the situation now. Maybe we can look back this way towards the pond and the slope and all of that. And get a general sense of where it's coming from. And of course it's at mile 20, as you can see. Yeah, that's it, folks. Pretty big drainage pond there. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the orange stripes from the survey work. So we don't know if they're going to go through with this. Now they have to do an environmental assessment instead of a categorical exclusion. Thanks to a few citizens among us that uh, cried foul to various federal and state agencies. But anyway. Higgins Point on ramp for 1.6 million pound megaloads.